the goal of today is to run through all these multi-tools and a couple other little random gadgets and see what will help you the most when you get a flat, when your chain breaks, when your pedal snaps, whatever happens, which one of these is gonna have you covered and which one is the right tool for you. So this isn't gonna be like a, uh, like a product test thing. I'm not gonna you know, test every Allen key and, and take these out for weeks at a time, but I am going to discuss the features of each of these and basically boil it down to two things. The usability, you know, the, of how many tools there are on, on each of these and the portability how light it is, uh, how easy it is to carry around, how long it'll last, etc. And hopefully you can come away from this video knowing that one of these tools is the correct one for you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First up is the OG BMX multi-tool, the DK Random Wrench. This is the third version, so it's the V3 of the uh, Random Wrench. And what you'll find is there's just a bunch of revisions versus obviously the first one. Um, stuff like this little tire lever feature right here and some six, eight, and 10 millimeter hex cutouts here for bolts. M maybe that could be useful for you. And then of course the 15 millimeter pedal wrench, which comes in, comes in handy all the time. We got the socket tool right here and inside this main body, we have all the tools. Here's the uh, the layout right there. Basically, when you go to put everything back in, it's all right there for you. And when you take the cap off, you'll notice that there is a built-in spoke wrench feature. So that's pretty convenient on the fly. Inside is everything you'd expect. We got the deep socket 17 that you will find on every single tool. We have, this is a five, just in case, a six, very common, and a 15. My initial impression is possibly, there's a little bit of a miss not having an eight in here. I mean, they have the six and the five. Five can be useful for seat posts and stuff like that, but um, kind of need an eight these days for cranks and sometimes even your stem if your six strips out on your top cap there. So I feel like they could have dropped this 15 socket and just put an eight in there. Obviously I'm speaking for personal preference there, but maybe you need a 15, so this is useful to you. But for me, an eight mil instead of that would have been uh, the way to go. V3 of the DK Random Wrench weighs in at one pound 10 ounces, AKA 748 grams, and it costs $49.99 and you can go ahead and pick it up at sourcebmx.com just like with all this other stuff they are the ones that make these videos possible and they have pretty much everything you need this is the odyssey travel tool it's the seven in one travel tool kit uh, I believe this is the first multi-tool that Odyssey has ever made. This is their jump into it, and I think this is one of the better ones that you can pick up today. So with every tool you'll see today, there is a 17 mil deep socket. Uh, this is Odyssey's version that, you know, folds out, has plenty of torque to, to make sure that you can get your wheel nice and tight and or off. Um, one feature that I didn't fully understand until I read the description is this little tab right here. When you go ahead and put it down, it actually actually hits. And at first thought, I was like, oh, that's kind of annoying and weird. And then I realized when I read the description, that's meant to be a storage compartment, um, which is relatively genius. So all you do to push the tool out is push from back here and then you know if you have a tire lever or i don't know other nefarious materials you want to put in there uh, that's a pretty cool random feature outside of that there is of course the 15 mil pedal wrench but if that doesn't work for you they include a 17 mil version which i thought was a cool uh, feature you can go ahead and just loosen up these bolts and swap it out. And you know, if that, again, if that works for you, then, then that's, that's pretty awesome in my opinion. The other side, they have the full gamut. Again, push from the back, get everything out. 
full gamut of hex wrenches, that eight mil that I was just talking about, which I think is pretty important these days, uh, the six mil, five mil, four mil. So one thing that I think is pretty important about the Odyssey tool is that it's all attached. In my experience, uh, you know, with tools like the random wrench and, and some of the other ones we get into, as time goes on, sometimes that six mil will disappear and, uh, you know, it essentially drives you crazy. So everything being attached and everything just, you know, this is it, it's, it's there everywhere. I think that's a pretty important feature that uh, a lot of times you don't think about until all of a sudden uh, you're missing something. It weighs in at 15 ounces, aka 425 grams, and that's actually really light compared to some of the other tools. I think, you know, that's about half the weight of the DK tool that I just showed you. So uh, that comes in pretty handy when you're pedaling around all day and, and, and your bag just, you know, makes it miserable for you basically if it's too heavy all these all these cutouts and all that stuff comes in handy and it folds up really well and when it's out it gives you plenty of torque to uh to get things done so that's the odyssey travel tool aka the seven in one tool and i believe this is like the nickel plate finish and they also come in uh in black did i say the price i can't remember if i didn't it is $29.99 and it is available at sourcebmx.com. I was going to talk about the Animal Cthulhuac. I hope, I hope I'm saying that right. I actually thought I had one. Source didn't have one in stock at the time, but I thought I had one, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And this is all that's left of it. Literally the the chain breaker not even the stem for the chain breaker so i can't even use this the kutulak is a great tool i actually had it for several years but as time goes on this is what remains of it and and so what happens is you know even if you're even if you're a responsible person you're gonna loan your tool out to somebody and somewhere some you know something will happen and your six will end up gone, your 17 will end up gone, it'll end up getting mixed in with something else. It'll just be not as useful anymore. So I think, you know, for the type of person that I am and, and if you loan your tools out, I think having everything attached to the tool is, is pretty valuable and that's why I think I, I really do like this Odyssey tool. Um, not to take away from any of the other tools, uh, you know, they have, all, all of them have their own features, but uh, you know, this, <laughs> this is what's left of my animal tool. So uh, that's, uh, I'll go ahead and put a, some sort of photo or a little snippet of, of some video, promo video of the animal tool. It is a good tool. I don't want to do them too dirty, but uh, I just, uh, I don't have it. So I can't do too much with it, but it is available for $39.99 and uh, the link will be in the description of the video, just like the rest of them. The Tall Order Pocket Tool. A lot of people really like this thing. I think it goes back to the simplicity. You know, essentially this is the tool. Even if you lose this, you can go to any hardware store and pick up another Deep 17, and the tool is just as useful as it, as it was when you first bought it. So there is a six here, there is an eight here, some knurling, and essentially there's a soccer wrench. Carrying it around is obviously pretty simple. They call it a pocket tool. I don't think I would want that in my pocket, but it is very easy to carry. Um, you know, I think it comes down to personal preference overall, something that's kind of folded up like that, or something that has a right angle. Um, that's 100% up to you. Because it's the most simple design, it's also the cheapest one. It is $21.99 and it weighs in at 12.6 ounces, aka 357 grams. Another tool that you can just imagine is in my hands right here is the Merit Trifecta Multi-Tool. Um, it kind of is in the same vein as that tall order tool, but it, it, it folds together. Uh, I think it, it basically has the same exact thing, a six, an eight, it's a 17. Uh, I do not have one, so I, I'll just put in a little promo video type thing 
Um, seems to be, I've never seen actually anybody with it in real life. So I, I, I don't know, I assume it's, it's a quality product, but I, just throwing that out there. So that's an option for you to, to take a look at. Next up is the Shadow Conspiracy multi-tool. Obviously it draws a lot of inspiration off of the DK Random Wrench. Starting up here, we have the 15 mil. Looks like a bottle opener for good times. A hammer, which <laughs> is always the essential BMX tool, unfortunately a rather large deep socket. So you don't need an extension with this. Obviously, if you lose this, you're gonna have to buy both an extension and a socket to replace it. And on this side, I think this is the main difference. Uh, it comes with a chain breaker uh, kind of built into the end cap here, which is, is pretty useful. Um, so literally you don't need you know, anything else. This is when you know, you're know you breaking your chain like this and there's uh, you use a a wrench which I'll show you and that's how you break your chain obviously not you know it's not uh, this other chain breaker that shadow makes which you know is, is much more official and probably easy to use but when you're on the fly and you're desperate you know this will get the job done and as you can tell obviously this is used I borrowed this from Albert Mercado for this video but uh, Inside, I'll get back to you in a second. Stop. Inside are two tire levers, except on the opposite side, one has a spoke wrench and the other one has what looks like a 10 mil uh, traditional wrench that will go right on here. And that's what you use to break your chain, fix your chain, break it put it back together, whatever you want to do. Inside the chain breaker are Allen keys that go in here. So Shadow went a little overboard here in the sense that they have a lot of hexes and a replacement pin for the chain breaker. And that's incredibly valuable. So don't, don't get me wrong there, but um, there's an eight, there's a six, there's a five, there's a quarter inch, there's a 730 seconds. Um, they pretty much have you covered here for everything that you need. Sometimes that's awesome. Sometimes that's a little confusing. Maybe you, if you buy this tool, you know, you could, you could dump a couple of these out and, and not really um, actually need them. So with the shadow tool, you could see where they were going. They really did want this to be everything you could possibly need and i think for the most part it you know it, it fits that bill I, I guess if you had a you know a 17 mil pedal situation that would be a bummer but i mean you could essentially build your entire bike with this thing and i think that's what they were going for and if that's the case then they did a pretty good job this thing's pretty beefy overall it weighs in at two pounds one ounce aka 945 grams so i think it's the heaviest of the bunch uh you know maybe maybe the animal tool uh, is up there as well but this is the only tool that can do everything as well so it makes sense if this one fits the bill for you then it is available for 59.99 over at you guessed it sourcebmx.com I know I started talking about the shadow tool with the socket on the outside. So I, I just want to be clear that everything does fit within this. You can see right there. So the Allen key attachment, the socket, spoke wrenches, and then all the, uh, the Allen keys themselves go inside the cap. So everything fits within that. And it also looks like you could kill somebody with this. So the last official tool kit is is one from source itself within it you will find tire levers plastic but I, I always feel like these do the job if you need metal tire levers you need new tires this is interesting it's a pedal wrench um pretty high quality with the with, you know with the rubber coating on it but it's also the socket attachment which i find kind of interesting it has a little cotter pin here so Interested to see how that would hold up over, you know, a couple years of, of wrenching on it, but 
definitely an interesting concept that you don't see very often. Of course, we got the extension, some sockets, a 17, a 19. So that's a little bit different than normal, but you know, if you're just starting out, sometimes those, those beginner bikes come with a 19, so that can be pretty useful. We have the five, a six, and an eight, which is essentially all you need. The merit in something like this, obviously, is that you can, you can add your own tools to it. It folds up pretty nicely, nice little Velcro strap, and then there you go, you throw that in your bag and you are good to go. So I did go ahead and bring my toolkit just to show uh, kind of what I carry. Uh, and I only put, my toolkit only goes in my car because I, I generally have a camera bag. So I, I, I don't, if you know, if I'm riding, I have a camera bag. So I just let somebody else worry about tools. Put peg sleeves, we have an Allen set, we got chain number one, chain number two, 17 number one, 17 number two, 17 number three, uh, you know, there's a five, there's a six, there's, you know, there's a quality spoke wrench. Tool wraps, uh, you know, tool pouches, etc., are pretty useful to me. Um, they're not necessarily the most portable thing in the world, but there's a variety of them out there. The Source One seems like a, a pretty good deal. Uh, did I go specs on that? I don't think I did. Crap. It is one pound, seven ounces, 650 grams, and it costs $21.99. And I wonder, oh, there it is. I wonder where it's available. I'm not sure. Nobody knows. Before I end this video, I do want to go over a couple other random tools. We have this uh, Colt key hook caribiner type thing. I don't know if I said that right. That doubles as a spoke wrench, which is pretty cool. We have the official, very official shadow chain breaker. Um, and this is specifically made, says it right there, for shadow chains. So if you run one of those, you pretty much need this. And I'm definitely going to steal this, sorry, source, and add it to my toolkit because it drives me crazy. Um, obviously pretty high quality overall. And then it comes with an extra pin and a magnetized right in there, which is pretty nice. So as I said, this is pretty high quality chain breaker and you have to pay for that quality. So this chain breaker costs $21.99, but having a quality chain breaker is like, uh, it's like a sign of being a refined human being. And if you do not have a shadow chain, Odyssey has their own chain breaker. Definitely a little bit smaller footprint. Um, it doesn't necessarily feel like it has like the quality of the shadow chain breaker, um, but I'm sure if Odyssey puts it out, then, you know, they back it and it's cheaper. It's only $12.99. Again, a little sneaky replacement pin under here, which is pretty much always useful. And especially if you loan your chain breakers to your friends because they do not know how to use them and they will break your pin. So, in my opinion, either don't loan it out or when you do loan it out, just break the chain for them because they will screw it up and they'll break the little tab on your chain breaker or they'll break the pin and you will be left with nothing. So don't loan it out or just do it for them. Just be a friend. Case in point, my park tool chain breaker no pin. Don't know who did it. The last thing I'm going to talk about is this cheeky little guy with an excessively long name. It is the Source Oxygen Thief Puncture Repair Kit. There's not really much to this overall, but I think it's kind of cool. It's basically a hose with two connections. Put this one on your flat tire, put this one on the tire that's not flat, open up the valves and you should 
have a tire that will at least get you to a gas station or to a friend's house or home somewhere with a pump that you can pump up both your tires and keep the session going. So I guess I have to test this, right? A beautiful bike. And of course, I'm a total nerd, so not only do I have one tire gauge, but I have two. So let's go ahead and be scientific with it. Okay, so back tire has somewhere around like 55 pounds or something in it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take the air out of the front tire. This on there. And then you run it to the back tire. And then I can actually hear it filling up. I can't hear it anymore. And actually, I mean, honestly, it's not, it doesn't feel that crazy. Oh, yeah, don't do that. This valve is open, and when you take it off the tire, the air is just coming out right here. So something to be mindful. <laughs> yeah. So I think what I did right there was bad. So lesson learned because this one is at around 28 PSI and this one's at about 18 PSI. So I blew it a little bit right there by not realizing that I basically I was just letting air out of the tire for about five seconds. But this is about like 18 PSI. This one's at about 28, 25 and that's enough to get you to a gas station. I think that's the entire point. But before we just stop, let's try a car tire. So these tires are pretty low right now. It's only about 18 PSI, but let's go ahead and attach to the flat tire first. I believe that's the correct way to go. And then you can see it filling up. Sorry about that. The correct way to do this is essentially just snap this off like that and then snap, nope. And then just plug it with your finger, apparently. And then take that off and we're good. From the car tire, got about, looks like 18 PSI. So back to it, so it kind of matched up. But again, I think that's enough to at least get you to the gas station. It is not a perfect solution by any means, but if you're in a pinch and you need to get a little bit of air in your tire for $7 and this thing literally weighs like two ounces or something, uh, you could have this in your bag for two months, never even realize it was there. And then one day it, you know, metaphorically saves your life. If I pedaled around a lot, I would buy it and I would throw it in my bag. What else would I have in my bag? I would put, this in there for seven dollars and then i think this tall order pocket tool i th i think this is a damn good option 22 bucks it's light it goes in your backpack and it does you know 80 85 percent of what you're going to need in the streets um if you wanted to do a little bit better then I think this is the way to go. I think personally, if, if I were buying a multi-tool, I think I would step it up a little bit and go with the Odyssey travel tool. Uh, just the fact that it has a pedal wrench, um, it has a couple more Allen key options and it, it's all folded together. You know, you know, this is small, but it still, it still comes off and I, I, just, I just know how I am and I just don't necessarily care for this. So I think I would go for this. Um, I think it, it just works well. If you want to step it up to something else and you want to build your own kit, um, I think this tool wrap does the job as well. You can throw some chain, some extra chain links in there, uh, you know, the peg sleeve thing and have a full kit. So I think it just really depends on how much you are pedaling a couple miles from your house or if you're just riding parks or if you have a car and you don't have a car, it just, it's all personal preference, but this for uh, affordability and pedaling around, this for usability and portability, super good like middle ground, this 
for when you are want to build your own kit and then tools tools like these uh you know do an all-around job this essentially does everything you need it to do so uh you can't complain about it but i, I don't think there's one right answer for anybody and that's okay so that's my final thought I want to give a quick thanks to sourcebmx.com for continuing to make these videos possible they are the ones that send these products to my house so if you need a tool a bike part of any type and you are on planet earth source bmx can deliver it to you they have a warehouse in the united states now they have the massive warehouse in the uk and they can pretty much ship anywhere in the world so hit up sourcebmx.com and if you have anything that you would like to see in the future different types of videos i think we're going to do sprockets or seats next or something like that but if you have any suggestions i am definitely open to them uh, so go ahead and leave a comment and that's it hopefully my energy level was high for the people that complained about the last video.